Hey, it's Holly and welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast number, I don't know, whatever it said in the description, you guys. You know how I am. <laughs> um, this is a podcast all about crochet, knitting, hopefully some sewing eventually. As of right now, haven't gotten time for that. But crochet and knitting, that sort of a thing. Uh, if you are looking to find me anywhere else on the interweb, you can find me on Facebook as The Proper Pineapple. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at The Proper Pineapple. That's where I'm most active. Uh, I'm on Ravelry as Miss MS Proper Pineapple, Ms. Proper Pineapple. And also there is a The Proper Pineapple crochet group over there on Ravelry. We do a lot of um, my cows and make-alongs and stuff over there. That's where that is. So if you want to find me in any of those places, there are links down below. You can also go directly to my website, thepropperpineapple.com. You can message me from there. Or if you want to make sure I get a message, you can email me at thepropperpineapple at gmail.com. <sighs> okay, guys. Done with all that businessy stuff, right? I gotta take a drink of water. I know. It's like just a little bottle of water. Sorry, guys. But I am still working on recovering from the flu. And my throat gets a little scratchy when I talk too much. And I always talk too much. <laughs> okay. Laughing makes me cough, so let's not do that. So, unfortunately, this month has been ridiculous. I cannot remember what happened before. What happened before I got sick? Something. Ha oh, I injured my ribs. <laughs> so, I got injured in the beginning of the month and could barely do any crocheting or knitting because, believe it or not, if you injure a rib, it hurts everywhere, not just in your rib cage. Uh, and then I got over that, and then I got the flu. So I was like, and I didn't just get the flu, like your little coughing and sneezing, little boogery nose. No, I was like going to die, got the flu. Like couldn't breathe. It was horrible. So I was out. So I've really done a whole bunch of nothing, you guys. I have like very little to show you, but I'm going to show you anyways, because I love you guys. So these dogs are being unruly because I'm on camera and they're like, you know what? Let's just bark. But anyways, Oswald. <laughs> it's YouTube time. You have to be quiet. Keep me like messing with my feet now. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I only worked on one project pretty much because for some reason it was like the only thing I could do. And it was my knitting of uh, my Free Your Fade, which is in my bag here. This is a bag by Kim of Chasing Acorns. I love this bag. Look at the bear. He's just chill. And then, let's see, is there anybody else cool we could show? Let's see. Oh, here, this is Duck. He's upside down. But look at the duck. He's so funny. And the bag is, yes, completely and utterly covered in cat hair. Because I don't know what happens when I go to bed at night, but apparently my cat crawls all over my knitting and crochet. <laughs> Hazel, I'm looking at you. Don't look. She, she looked away, you guys. She was like, mm -mm, you're not looking at me. It's not my hair. But it is. Okay, so in case you are not a knitter and you don't know what this is, this is the Free Your Fade. Let's see, make sure that's focusing. <laughs> I think it is. Is it? Possibly? Yes, it did. Okay. It's the Free Your Fade by Andrea Mowry. Uh, it is a knitted pattern. It is not free. It was, I believe, $7. And you basically are making this triangle kind of boomerangy shape, but you're fading three colors together. And the last time I had this out to show you guys... Let me get it all untangled. I was working here in this purple. Oh, you guys, this purple is life for me. I'm not kidding. This is um, Carrie Hope by Cat Sock Fibers on Etsy. You got to check it out. I love this purple. Let me get it up close. You guys are not enjoying this purple. Okay, now it's blown out. It, it's this gorgeous purpley pink um, tonal. I adore this. I think of Cheshire Cat whenever I see it. And you guys know I love Cheshire. So I started here. And then I started... Let's see if you guys can kind of see here. Is that the right side? Mm. Yes, that is. <laughs> Crazy guy, sorry. If it'll focus. But it's kind of holy, so I don't think it will. There you go. I started fading in. So you stripe it in kind of. This beautiful multicolored pinks. It's got greens purples. This color is called the Proper Pineapple and was made by my dear friends over at Iron Wheel Farms. They are on Etsy too. You've got to check them out. They made me my own color and how well is it going with this purple, right? 
So I am actually, I'm actually done right here where this little stitch marker is, is where I was last time. I've actually done all of this and I only have one more of these sections right here. There's like a, a like a holy drop or a little yarn. <laughs> Guys, I can't even talk today. A holy little yarn over section, and then these rows here, and then another, then that's what you do. You do like, do the rows, do the yarn over, do the rows, do the yarn over. Just what you do. Anyways, I only have one more section of those before I can start striping in my third color, which is a, this a beautiful ball of yarn. This ball of yarn is not even close to doing this skein of yarn justice. I've got a piece that came loose, so now I'm going to unwind it and rewind it. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? No, because everybody else has yarn ball winders and they don't do it by hand, but I do it by hand. I'm poor. What are you going to do? Anyways, this beautiful thing is by uh, Roberta Ray Fibers. Again, she is on Etsy too. Um, all three of the dyers are here in Michigan, which I love. And this color, let me get it up close in case you can't really tell, but there's these gorgeous purples and pinks and stuff striped through there. Or well, speckled through there. It's a speckle. And it's called Quiet Riot, which I absolutely loved. And I think it is just going to be the perfect, like, ending to this shawl. I'm super excited. Like I said, this is pretty much the only thing I've been able to work on. Because I just, I don't know why, but this was working and everything else was, like, making me sicker. I will talk slightly about my needles. So I started this uh, with the US4... Um, clovers that I had wooden clo bamboo clovers but I only had a 16 inch cable which was really tiny so I was at Hobby Lobby and I found these these are um Knitter's Pride interchangeables and I believe it was like a 32 inch cable or something so it's nice and long so I can actually like stretch it out so you can see how far how big it's getting which I like but I'm gonna be honest with you guys I am I'm not liking Knitter's Pride needles um, I know this is the first time I've used them, but actually, I've actually had them come loose. They, they were loose right there. Let me tie it up. Quite a few times on me already. Pretty much every time I finish a row, I push everything to the center and then re-tighten these because I'm really scared. It actually, like, started to come off mid-row on me. I've used the key and everything, and I just don't, they're not staying as tight as I would hope for an interchangeable set to do. So... I'm probably not going to get any more Knitter's Pride. I know that. I'll probably end up trying something else. But I do like the idea of interchangeables because, like, if I had another project that needed these US-4s, I could take these off, put the little stoppers on, work on that, come back to this sort of a thing. That'd be great. Or, like, if I needed to go up a needle size, I could just do that. But I'm just not liking these ones. And maybe it's just me. I'm sure lots of people love these. Maybe I'm too rough on mine. Could that be it? Am I, like, a rough crocheter slash knitter <laughs> like, I don't know so I'm not a huge fan of those right now but you know who knows maybe I'll keep working with it and maybe I'll like fall in love and at the end of it I take it back I love knitter's pride we'll see probably not though I'm pretty picky <laughs> okay and so like that was the only thing I've been working on and then just today because I was just sitting there and I was like you know what I need to do cast on another project so I got another one of my bags from Kim from Chasing Acorns. Look at this one. It's got food trucks all over it, you guys. Absolutely. Look at this one. It's got like hot dogs. Look at that. Top dog. <laughs> oh, I'm a child. I saw this bag and I was like, mine. Everybody else was like looking at these beautiful ones. And I was like, this one's got a hot dog truck on it. <laughs> Why aren't you buying this? <laughs> okay. I gotta take a drink now. I made myself laugh too much. Good for you right okay so i don't have the pattern printed out because i just haven't printed it out yet because i literally was just like gonna do this right now but i am making the crimson hooded cardi cardigan but i i have no idea who i will put the information actually no the information's all on my ravelry page go over to ravelry check it out um if you have not seen this cardigan i will plop in a picture here I think like right here picture stunning it's all crochet and it has all these gorgeous cables stunning right so I chose to use this gorgeous yarn here it is premier everyday yarn it is the color I think it's called bright violet let me see yep 
a bright violet. It is that color right there. Bright, violety, purpley pink. I adore it. And so, and I'm using, I'm kind of mad you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I am a little bit of a crochet hook snob, just, just a teeny bit. I don't mean to be, but I am. I have grown to love and adore my wooden crochet hooks. I have five, a size 5 and a 5.5. I also have 375 and lower. And you know what size I needed for this pattern was a 4.5. Do you know what I do not have? A 4.5. Luckily, one of you blessed people on YouTube had sent me a pack of these rubber handled needles or hooks. I'm sorry, not needles. Been knitting a lot lately. And it had a 4.5. So I was able to go ahead and start this cardigan with this. So thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. But now it just means I gotta get another wooden hook because I just don't like the rubber. I know a lot of people do. And I am not at all bashing anybody who likes the rubber handled hooks. That is awesome. Everybody crochets differently. Everybody likes something different. You find what works for you and stick with it. Wooden seems to be what I love. So I gotta upgrade. But for now, this is working just fine. But actually, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not because I did the first five rows. <laughs> Stunning, right? Aren't you guys impressed with all the work I've done on this cardigan? <laughs> Okay, but this is five rows of single crochet. And I made the third size. I don't know because it's not like, it's not like small, medium, large. It's all by like measurements. And I might actually have to pull this all out and start over. I, I don't know. I'm debating. I might just leave it. I might just roll with it, you guys, because I'll tell you a secret. I didn't gauge swatch. <laughs> I don't gauge swatch. I've never gotten, I've never done that. Of course, I've only made one sweater and it just got lucky. It worked out, right? So anywho, I just started with the size I thought I should start with. This is it. This is the back panel. You start, you make the back panel, the two front panels, the sleeves, you work the border around top over. It's, it's really complicated. This pattern is not, and I will repeat, not a beginner friendly pattern. I have been crocheting for more years than I want to tell because that makes me feel old. But I read this pattern and I thought I was reading Chinese. <laughs> Like what? What? It took me forever and then eventually it clicked and I got it. But at first I was like, uh, nope. Anyway, so you start out at the bottom, you work your way up the back of the panel. So that's where I am, real fine. The gauge for this, I went ahead and measured after I already had this done, is 18 stitches this way and 20 rows this way per a four inch by four inch square. Okay? I measured and I have 16 stitches per 15 rows. <laughs> so my sweater's going to be bigger if I keep going where I am. And I'm already wondering if this is too big. This is the back panel. Does this look too big, you guys? <laughs> you guys, should it's all twisted. Here we go. Should I rip it out and go smaller? Go down a size? Because I don't, I mean, it's supposed to have four to five inches of positive ease or whatever because you're supposed to like overlap the front of the cardigan like this i don't know so i mean i don't know does this i don't know what to do you guys do i pull this five rows out and go down a hook size or down a couple hook size probably down a hook size or do i just keep going and pretty god i'm not making a sweater big enough for mr pineapple <laughs> because this is not his color <laughs> Honey, would you wear this? No. He said no. <laughs> okay, guys. This podcast is going way downhill. So I don't know what to do. I'm torn. So what do you guys think? Should I just keep going? How big could it be? <laughs> uh, I hear everybody. I hear you guys. Stop yelling. I'll pull it out. <laughs> I'll start over. And yes. I do realize that this sweater will not fit in this bag forever. But for right now, I'm using it because there's a hot dog truck on it. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, my goodness. Bottled water has so been my best friend. It's insane. Okay, so um, that's it. That's all for projects. So now we're just going to talk. I'm going to show you some mail, go over some things, blah, da, 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 da. So why don't we start off by talking 
and then I will do the mail and stuff like that, okay? Because we'll end it by seeing yarn. That'll be fun. Okay, so first off, um, back in October, I made a Wicked Witch of the East style. And everybody has loved her. I have gotten multiple people asking about recreating the Wicked Witch of the East style. Um, I am happy to, except for I only have one tiny little witch hat. I bought two. I don't know why I bought two, but I'm glad I did. I only have one. So, to all of you people who keep asking me if you can order one of those, yes, but I can only make one more because I only have one tiny hat. So, the first person who orders it gets it. That's it. I don't have enough to make any more. All my other dolls, everything's crocheted and I, it's easily reproduced, so it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I can only make one more. So, if anybody wants that doll, get a hold of me because once it's gone, it's gone. That's it. No more. Bye-bye. <laughs> um... I wanted to talk to you guys because if you remember at the beginning of the month, I did kind of a meetup at the yarn garden in Charlotte. Is that how they say it? I kept saying it wrong. Pronunciation, not my strong point. All right, guys, that's not why you watch this channel because the grammar is not great. Anyways, um, it was so much fun there that I'm going back and Al's coming back too and we're hoping a couple other people will come um so we are going to be hanging out at the yarn garden on February 16th which is a Saturday I'm not exactly sure what time yet but I will let you guys know before then trust me we're gonna go we're gonna hang out we're gonna do a little shopping do a little crocheting and or knitting doesn't matter it would be great if you guys came um for right now, it's me and my best friend Al is going to be there. We invited Kim from Chasing Acorns. We hope she can make it. And we invited Lacey from the Hooked on Owls podcast because we love Lacey. And my daughter insisted that her daughter is her best friend and we need to hang out. So we did that. So Lacey, you have to come because Starlet says so. Anyways, so I hope you guys can make it. If you can't make it, that's okay. I totally understand. But if you can, it would be great to hang out and chit chat with me because... I'm a ton of fun. I promise. Right, honey? Mm-hmm. He said, mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounded so convincing, didn't he? <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, oh, speaking of dolls, I have a new doll pattern. Yeah, I'm so excited, you guys. So, so excited because I was contacted by one of you lovely pineapple people that requested a special doll for her daughter's birthday and when I heard this request, at first I was like, um, I don't know. And then I was like, you know what? Never mind. That's a great idea. And so, of course, I decided I have to make it into a pattern for you guys. So, here in the next week or so, I will be releasing another doll pattern. I'm super, super excited about this. I'm going to keep it a surprise until the day I release it because it's super cool and super fun. And I think you guys are going to love it. But just to let you guys know, uh, I do, I have... I've heard you guys, I heard you, you guys want a boy doll and people want the minis. I am going to be releasing those patterns this year too. I'm just trying not to do it all at once, all right? So actually, if you guys want, you can vote down below. Do you want the next doll after this doll pattern to be released? Do you want the minis first or the boy doll first? Hmm? Either or, think about it. Get back to me, let me know. And like I said, stay tuned for my new doll pattern. I'm so excited. It's so stinking cute, you guys. Okay, I'm loving my hair today. I'm having like an amazing hair day today. I can't stop touching it. I'm sorry. It's pretty. Let's just go like this real quick. There we go. Yep. All right. All right. Back to the channel. Let's get... <laughs> Some days I wake up and I'm like, ew, shave it. And other days I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Anyways. All right. Let's see. I've got my list here, guys. All right. Talked about that. Check. Let's talk about the December giveaway I had. Do you guys remember that? The big giant 24 days of DeStashmas giveaway? Well, almost all of you contacted me and I have waited. It is the, what, 28th that I'm filming this on? 28th, 29th? I have no idea. Whatever date it is, I know this video is not coming out until the 31st. Anyways, I've waited all month to make sure everybody got a hold of me. I've been shipping out boxes, whatever. One person never got a hold of me. I bet you guys can't guess what day it is. <laughs> day 24, the biggest of all of the giveaways, the one that had the hook, the bag, the yarn, and the custom-made doll, that person never got a hold of me. But that's okay, because that means I am going to recycle all of that 
into new giveaways. I'm going to like put some stuff in a giveaway here, put some stuff in a giveaway here. And yes, eventually I will do a custom doll giveaway since that doll never got made. I'm probably going to save that for my birthday giveaway. I'm not sure. We will see. But yes, so eventually all of that will happen. Okay. So I'm super excited because that means now I have more stuff to give away to more people. But kind of sad nobody got a hold of me there, but it's okay. It's okay because like I said, we'll just recycle the gifts back to you guys. So stay tuned because I have a feeling there might be a giveaway coming up. Maybe. <laughs> okay. And then the next thing I want to talk about really quickly before I show you some stuff, I, new things I have in my shop is a mystery cow. Who would like to do a mystery crochet along? And if you don't know what that is, basically, um, I design a pattern and you purchase the pattern, but when you first purchase it, you, you don't actually, so you, you buy it on Ravelry. That's where it would be held first. It's not a Ravelry. You buy the pattern and when you get it, the first piece you get of the pattern is just all the things you need, right? tells you all the supplies you need. Then when the mystery crochet along starts, you will get an update. I will update the pattern on Ravelry, which will then update you and let you know that there's an update for your pattern. And you will get the first portion, what you have to do for that week. And then it goes for however many weeks. I'm thinking this would be like a four week mystery crochet along. And I'm thinking we would do it just before my birthday. So it would be my, it's my birthday crochet along. Who wants to do a mystery it's my birthday crochet along. I can tell you right now, I've already come up with the idea and it is a shawl. I will not tell you the exact shape or anything like that. I will talk some more about it soon because the yarn that I bought for it is coming in and I will show you that. But um, I'm so excited. So hopefully you guys are excited and want to do this with me. It will be a ton of fun. I cannot wait. It's my first time ever doing one of these. So I hope it turns out good. I hope you guys love it. I know I'm excited for it. Yee! Okay, so now I want to show you some new buttons. I kind of look at a whole handful here. I actually went a little crazy making buttons. <laughs> I, I have six, six new buttons going into my store right now. You guys can go there right now and buy these. Okay, so I'm going to show you each one of them and tell you about so this first one. Mr. Pineapple actually came up with this idea and helped me design it. But look, it says, come on, focus. Focus. There it goes. It says cool whips. Do you get it? And it's like, you know, cool whip, but cool whips for your crochet projects. Isn't that adorable? So cute. Um, give it a second. There it is. Each of these buttons are 1.25 inches around whatever that is do you know how that is in diameter. in diameter see that's why i keep him for the math <laughs> so this one i love because you can put it on your project like especially if you're working on something cool and it'd just be like this is a cool whip just put it right there that's so adorable i love that one okay i love all of these and then this one al came up with the writing I put on here. She came up with this slogan. I made the design. She said it was cute, but she doesn't like red, but Al, some people like red. <laughs> here it is. Oh, get it to focus here. It's weird. Come on. There we go. It says hooray for crochet. <laughs> I laughed so hard. I thought that was so cute. So you guys can thank Al for that one. Hooray for crochet. Do the weird voices help? No. Okay. This one I came out with, and I totally think it's kind of like me. <laughs> Let's get this one up there. Come on. Focus. I can't tell if I need to bring it. There it is. It says crochet ninja, and it's a little ninja girl with a crochet hook behind on her back. Isn't that adorable? So cute. I absolutely love this one. Crochet ninja. Crochet Ninja is so cute. Okay, so and then this one, I designed this one too. I designed all the other ones besides the first two. This one is so cute. It says Crochet Nerd. And then look, it's a little volley yarn with a crochet hook. And she's winking and kind of sticking out her tongue. I thought that was too cute. So, Crochet Nerd. Love that one. Okay, now these are my two favorites. I love these. This one, I just died when I made this one. I absolutely love this. You guys, look at this. Let's get it close. Come on. 
It's trying to focus, you guys. There it is. It says alpaca my yarn. <laughs> and it's a little alpaca wearing a yarn ball crown. Isn't that so cute? This took me forever in Photoshop, you guys. You won't believe this. But anyways, isn't it so cute? Camera. There. Alpaca my yarn. I love this one. Okay, and then this one's my absolute favorite. I'm actually thinking of getting this made into an enamel pin. And I might be crazy. I might be the only person in the world who wants this button. <laughs> but I want it so bad. Okay, ready? Get it to focus here. It's trying. Come on. There it is. Look, it's me! And I'm all excited because there's yarn balls! <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, are you tired of me laughing? Look at how cute it is. It's a little me, and that's exactly what I do when I see yarn. You can ask anybody who goes yarn shopping with me. I'm like, me, yarn! <laughs> so, isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this one. And I'm thinking about making it into an enamel pin. Who wants an enamel pin of me? Anybody? <laughs> Am I the only person? Do you want one, Mr. Pineapple? Sure. Yes, he said yes, in case you're wondering. So those are my six new buttons. Please let me know down below which one you love. Come on, we all know it's me, right? It's the me button. <laughs> and you can pick these up on my website right now. So super excited about that. And that is all the things I have to talk about. Now, let me show you some yarn mail. First, I'm gonna show you mail I got from you guys and some other places, and then I only have one thing I bought. I was being good. So first off, I got a package from, I never know how to say this name. Oh, uh, Ex Exveria Zalargus. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. And she sent me, let me pick it up. I just don't want you to see her address. This giant box of stuff here, you guys. Let me get this water bottle to help hold this down. And she wrote me a little letter. Uh, yes. Oh, and there's a letter. She told me I could read the letter from her daughter. And they sent me a bunch of cute stuff. So see, they sent me this little plaque that says fine apple. <laughs> Which just makes me giggle every time. And this is the letter from her daughter. Look, she drew me. If anybody can see that, did that focus? I think it did, but did I not have it in camera? There it, is. it says, hi, Miss Pineapple. My name is Angelina, but I go by the name Red Wolf. Red is my first name and Wolf is my last, so I just get called Red. I helped my mom pick out some of the stuff in your gift box. I picked out the flag, the glasses, the little cocktail picks, and the golden pineapple just for you. Hope you like it. P.S. I like watching your YouTube videos with my mom or your videos with my mom. Hi, Angelina. I'm so glad you guys love my channel. So she sent me, these are some pineapple garland. So cute. Look, these are amazing. She sent me these pineapple glasses. Let me just, just crack these puppies open. Hold on, guys. I know you all want to see me with pineapple glasses, so. Now I can't see nothing. <laughs> but how good do I look in these? <laughs> I look good, guys? Still a photo. Yeah, no. I can't see a thing, okay? <laughs> you guys are all a blur right now. Let's see. Get my real glasses back on. Oh, there's everybody. They got me some little cups with pineapples. I've got, like, no room here. Little cupcake holders and, like, toothpicks with pineapples. Those are so cute. Oh, this is the flag she was talking about. Every pineapple nation needs a pineapple flag. And these are pineapple streamers. We love those. This is a little inflatable pineapple. So like when I take my water into the pool. Because <laughs> that's all I drink. But here is some paper plates. Those are so cute. Kids cannot have those. I won't allow it. And then there's a eh, little yellow pineapple here. Which is so cute. I don't want it to fall off the desk. And a pineapple can cozy. For on those off days I might drink a root beer. It does happen. Not often. Look, these are little pineapple swords and they got flamingos, like those little like toothpickies. I'm going to use that for eating tiny little sausages. <laughs> it gave me this little pineapple like ring dish. I'm going to use that for stitch markers over on my desk. Oh, this one's my favorite. It is a light, color changing light up pineapple. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen, you guys. We're going to totally use that. Let me set that down there. She also sent me this little thing that says 
Fa la 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 llama. <laughs> That's going in the Christmas decorations. <coughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Still getting over the call. And then I'm a little sad about this, you guys. This was not their fault. Mail mailing stuff sometimes happens. Some of the little pineapple pointies broke off this gorgeous golden pineapple, but it's okay because they're all here and they all just go right back on. So I'm going to just glue them right back on. So do not worry. I still love it. And I was going to glue them right back on. Thank you guys so much. You did not have to send me stuff, but I do appreciate everything I get. I'm going to set this guy over here so it doesn't get broken anymore. Okay, there we go. I loved all of it. I cannot wait to like use it, play with it, all that good stuff. Uh, and I did get one more package from, let's see, the name's on here, hold on. Oh, see, that's my post box, so you can see that. And hi, you people thought you got my address. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, from Terry Alvarez. Terry, thank you so much. Sent me a giant box of stuff. So first off, there was this Disney, like, tote bag here with a Mickey on the back. And guess what? My little baby who loves Mickey has already been hounding me for this. So I don't know if I'm going to get to keep it or if I'm going to have to share it with the kid. But she sent me some yarn. This is from Yarn Bee. This is Yellow Yarn Bee Color Splash and it is in the color just peachy. It's like a really thick chunky yarn. Uh, she also sent me these. I think she made these. These are fingerless mitts. I like these. I've never had a pair of fingerless mitts. So, but I mean, these are cute, right? They're red and they're sparkly. Can you guys see that? Sparkly. Very, very, very pretty. I absolutely love them. She gave me some more Yarn Bee yarn. This is Yarn Bee Sweet Shades in the color eh, navy and orange. Very, very pretty. Give me this. I love this. My son made me a shawl out of well, two of these last year. So I think I'm going to make maybe a hat to go with it out of this. This is the Yarn Bee Sia Bella. Sia Bella? I, I don't speak Italian, so I'm sure I said that wrong. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, oh, she said an actual, like, a crocheted water balloon. You just, like, dunk this guy in water, and then you could throw it at people. And it's just like having, like, a big wet sponge whipped at your head. It's great. <laughs> Show me this yarn. I have never seen this before. Probably because it looks like it's a very old yarn. But it's called Ping... You know what? I'm just going to hold that up. There we go. That's what it's called, you guys. Very interesting yarn. Definitely figured something out for that. Oh, and these. The kids have been... Mm, the kids have been killing me, Terry. <laughs> Water balloons with little grenade pouches. They're fighting over these. Ugh. I'm like, it can't have anything until I show it on the channel. She also sent me this wonderful kit here. It is to make, let's see if we can find a picture. A little, let's see if that will uh, focus. It's trying to find my face. There it is. A little animal scarf. This is super, super cute. I absolutely love this. I think this might end up in a giveaway because I think you guys would really love this too. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, most This all might end up in giveaways. The yarn. Uh, she made me three of these. Big round circles that kind of have a lip on the back. They're not hats. Are these, what are these? Are these pot holders? Because I was thinking of using them as pot holders. But if I'm using them wrong, please let me know, Terry. But I'm thinking of using them as pot holders because we love pot holders. <laughs> so she gave me those. Uh, she did send me a card, a Christmas card, which I love. Look at this. Fellow truck says Merry Christmas. Isn't that adorable? But there. Uh, she said these, I believe these are boot cuffs. Aren't these cute little Christmassy boot cuffs? Love those. Those are so cute. Oh, and she sent, let's see, two pairs of these fuzzy, fuzzy socks. So I'm going to keep a pair and I'm going to give a pair to my little princess because then we'll be twinsies. So thank you for that. Um, she sent two more things of yarn here. These are also Yarn Bee. These are Yarn Bee Huge IQ in the color Indigo Tide. Very, very pretty. Uh, and then there's just a couple more things in the bottom of here. She sent me this wonderful little owl uh, hand towel with a little like crocheted part on the top to go with it. 
she sent me a couple of hats which is great because um one i love these colors she sent this green one here too and the kids always need hats so thank you so much i've been like slacking this year and didn't make them any hats and there's a couple things at the bottom of the box and that is it let me get rid of this box Ugh, okay she sent this lovely little tassel let's see if i can get this focus on this it's got a little pineapple it's so cute I do love that. And then she sent me a couple pair of straight knitting needles. Um, a US 5 and a US 9. So thank you very much for these. Uh, those are great for teaching the kids to knit. They're always great. So I'm going to throw this yarn back in the box. I'm not throwing it on the floor. The box is right here. So some of that will definitely be getting put into giveaways. You guys are just so sweet and generous with me. I love you guys so much. Um, I did have... One other wonderful person. You know what? Let me let me just get on my phone here and I'll remember your name because my mind is a big pile of mush these days. Melissa. Melissa Pontiff. She got a hold of me and she knew that I wasn't a big fan of the brown I got in my knit crate this month. And she traded me the pink. Isn't it pretty? It's kind of like pink sherberty. So pretty. Very pretty pink tonal. So thank you so much, Melissa. And I had other people offer thank all of you, but Melissa got there first. So she, I gave her my brown. She gave me that one. Uh, Jeremy knows all itchy all of a sudden. Another thing came in this package here, little snowman. It's actually from the, uh, back in November, the Get Your Yarn Wishes Granted. It's supposed to be for like right around Christmas time. Um, this is um, Cameo Yarns. You should definitely go check her out on Instagram and on um, in Etsy. She had offered to send me a wonderful skein of yarn. Uh, but she got super busy and couldn't send it right away. But she sent it now and I was super excited. So it came. So I'm going to open it up. And unfortunately the bag got a little ripped. Because I'm going to tell you about this. It's such cute yarn. So let me show you her label first. Get it to focus on it and then I can turn it. There we go. Cameo Yarns. Very pretty. Definitely go check her out, you guys. So she sent me this wonderful skein. If you can tell, you guys, look. I'm going to to focus. There we go. It's this beautiful greens and purples and a little bit of blue. It's absolutely stunning. And it is so soft, you guys. I thought for a moment when I pulled it out that it had cashmere in it. It doesn't. It doesn't have cashmere. It is just 100% superwash merino. It is her DK weight. And it's 237 yards, but it is so soft. And I got it, and I love it. I do. I really love it, Cameo Yarns. It was so sweet of you. But I was thinking that it might be good for a giveaway for my followers because I want other people to get out there and see these wonderful indie dyers. So I'm actually going to put this back in its little plastic baggie here. Boop, 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 boop and fold it over sorry got kind of ripped whoever ends up winning this because this is going to go in my giveaway stash but it's absolutely lovely the beautiful purples and greens you could make a lovely like a dk hat or something i absolutely love that yarn it's so pretty you guys will love it and you should definitely go check her out so the last thing is actually something i bought i bought yarn from the yarn brary which look it came in this mailer that's a library <laughs> I had to save that just to show you that. Um, she has a podcast here on YouTube too. It's called um, Meanwhile at the Castle. It's with her sister. Her sister runs Candy Shop Yarns. Is that the name of it? I believe so. But she runs the Yarn Brary and she had this color mm -hmm, called Cheshire's Grin. Look at this color, you guys. Doesn't it make me good? Look at that. Let me get it close. Look at how beautiful that is. This is gorgeous. Whites, hot pinks, purples, just stunning. There is her label, the Yarn Brary. You guys have to go check her out. Come on camera, focus on my face. There it is. You have to go check her out. This is absolutely stunning yarn. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'm going to make something amazing with these two skeins because come on, isn't that beautiful? Ugh. Okay, if you're not a hot pink person, maybe it's not beautiful. But for me, this is life. Life. Look at that. Giving me so much happiness right now. And it's called Cheshire's Grin. 
probably would have bought it no matter what color it was. <laughs> I mean, I bought this because I love it, honey. Shh, don't tell him. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so that is it, you guys. I'm so sorry that I babbled on for this long. Um, like I said, go over, check out the buttons on my store. They are up and for sale. They're hilarious. I love them. Uh, don't forget about the meetup on February 16th in Charlotte, Michigan at the Yarn Garden. Love it there. Lindsay is so amazing. You guys will love it. And don't forget about the mystery crochet along that's going to be coming up and the new doll pattern that will be coming out here in the next week or so. So, so much to look forward to here on The Proper Pineapple. And I love you guys. And I do so hope that next time I come on here, I will have more to show you because hopefully I won't be sick anymore. Ugh, I'm so tired of being sick. Anyways, I gotta get out of here because kids, husband, dogs, cat, you know, things to do. So, bye guys.